Live from Arlington, Texas, Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Cincinnati Reds and the Texas Rangers. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So almost ready to get underway. And on the mound in this one, Nathan Evaldi. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Here's the left fielder, number 23. And the pitch. That one inside, and we're underway. corner for a strike one ball one strike swing and a miss one, and the count one and two Chris you know you look at Nathan of all these resume he won the World Series with the Red Sox in 2018 but he was actually originally drafted by the Dodgers back in 2008 he was an 11th round pick stays alive always known for that power fastball but interesting he didn't get a whole lot of swing and miss with it early on he got better with that stuff as his career progressed and you talk about that world series in 2018 he was absolutely fantastic out of the bullpen spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another two two now Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some really close pitches, and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And here is Ellie De La Cruz. Rudder at first with no outs here. The next offering misses. And that is ball one. And the right hander deals. Late that One time, ball. and it's strike two. two. Fights that one away, still one and two. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Joey Votto up to bat next, lays off for a ball. The pitch. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Swing and a miss. One and two.
And that one missing low. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Number 33, the next to hit for the Reds. That misses off the outside edge. One cool nugget on Evaldi comes from the same hometown as Nolan Ryan. Both guys from Alvin, Texas. They actually attended the same high school. They didn't meet until 2016. Evaldi pitching for the Yankees, visited the Astros, and that's when he got a chance to meet the Ryan Express. And another ball. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And a pitch. That one pushed foul. The 2-1. Noel V. Marte up next for the Reds. First inning going a bit long, 23 pitches to this point. Swing and a miss. And it's three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Third out. Reds leave one. Now the Rangers will get their first crack. We're scoreless. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. And on the hill, the big righty, Hunter Green. He's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. I mean, he's not trying to fool them. He's going to pitch the contact, not worry about it. He trusts his defense behind him. And he's not going to mess around with a whole bunch of different offerings. Only three pitches in the repertoire. So he knows he'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many patterns. Here is Marcus Simeon. The wind and the pitch. Chris, how about the 2021 season for Marcus Simeon? He was an all-star, and he hit 45 home runs. Next offering is in for a strike. One of the other aspects with Marcus Simeon, when he first came up with Oakland, he really struggled defensively, and he worked so hard. Ron Washington, a guy that helped him out, he ultimately ended up earning a gold glove. Yeah, Ron Washington has helped out so many infielders over the years he's even willing to work with guys in the opposing teams we saw him in the all-star game working with nl east rival pete alonzo and here's Corey seeker to hit that misses the zone ball one That's in there, and that is strike one. one. one strike. Good zip on that fastball at the bottom of the zone. If he's there all day, it's going to be a tough one for the hitters. Fights it off, he'll see another. One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. The wind of the pitch. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Pitch misses and the count is even two and two. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Struck him out looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, 
Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Evan Carter in the box now. No balls and a strike. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball there. Next pitch downstairs. One and two to count. First two hitters get punched out on strikes. Take some notes from the dugout when you get your chance. Go. This one's fair down the line and left. And it's going to be extra bases. And he's got a double. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Just a great approach. Looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Man at second here with two away. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Pitch ball. misses inside. And that's ball one. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. At the belt and fires. That's down and in. Misses with the 2-0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Josh Young in the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. 3-0 down. That one, a triple digits. Cold night like tonight, last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end, trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front, so off-speed pitches may be a good complement to that fastball. Rip to third. Marte with a throw to first. Out number three. Rangers leave one. We played an inning. No score. And welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Noel V. Marte. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And that's a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. The 0-1. They say you win. No ball. Two strikes. Misses. It's a ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Ground ball up the middle. On to first. One out in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Will Benson. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Hauls it in, two away. That accepts the second baseman. Now it's Nick Senzel. In there, and it's 0-1. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. pitch in the dirt 
Up with it, fires to first. In time, the 2-3 strikeout ends the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the second. Here's the rookie third baseman, Josh Young. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. The 1 0. That's out to center field. Fairchild in position and he makes the catch and there's one down batting fifth the first baseman Nathaniel Lowe up to hit That one's in there, 0 and 1. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go oh. by. Close one. Doesn't get the call. And it's a ball to strike. Kenny Jansen doing home plate duties in this one. Not a huge strike zone from Jansen, so he can't really be called a pitcher's umpire, but he does like the bottom part of the strike zone. We may see some pitchers steal a few strikes down there, especially the ones right below the knees. That's if their catcher can present it properly. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now the catcher up to hit, Jonah Heim. He's built his reputation as one of the top framers in the sport. Fouled off. He was late. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss. That one at 101 with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here next offering is down low now one and two righty delivers and misses inside nothing nothing here in the bottom of the second next pitch is outside Laoti Tavares in the on deck circle for Texas Line drive, caught! Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here's Leody Tavares. This to third, Marte. He is safe. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Travis Jankowski in the box now. Take strike one. The 0 1. Well, this is a higher leverage spot, and all the way that he's turned things around. He's got two outs now ahead in this count, and he can pretty much dictate what's going to happen next in terms of the pitch sequence. Next one just misses, and the count is 1 and 2. Swing and a pop up. And that's the inning. Rangers leave a pair. We'll move to the third with no score.
Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. In now for the Reds, Stuart Fairchild. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. Just Ball missed. Out. And a swing and a miss there. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Lifted in the air right center field. Jankowski sizing this one up. He's got it. And a quick out number one. Here's Luke Maley. Ball one, no strikes. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. There's the strike. And he deals. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. The pitch. Ground ball right side, and that one handled. Fires to first on the run. Out. Fine play in the hole for the out. Now batting, number 23. So two down now, and here is number 23. He reached out a walk his first time. That hits the dirt. Ball one. And he pumps it a strike. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Young puts it away, and that ends the inning. Nobody left for Cincinnati, and we're still knotted at zero. Set for the bottom of the third. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The second baseman. Marcus Simeon. The right hander back to work. They say he went. And strike two. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Fouls it off, still one and two. And here it comes. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Rip to short. Throw to first, great stretch, and they got him. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. So now it's Corey Seager. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Singy, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. 
Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. Next pitch in for a strike, three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Carter in the box now. Take strike one. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Swing and a miss struck him out. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long enough and played right into the hands of the pitcher. And now the DH, Mitch Garver. First He's offering done. misses the mark. Seeger, the runner at first with two gone. Smoked on the ground a second. Play made, that ends the inning. One left for Texas, and we are still scoreless. And welcome back. And now the shortstop, Ellie De La Cruz. Singh, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. The pitch. That's a little bit low. Next offering is in for a strike. Lifted in the air now the left side. Seeger makes the catch. One down. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Out to short. And Votto is retired. So now it's the four hole hitter, number 33. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Yeah. And that's in there for strike one. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand, looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Two down, nobody on. Just misses the mark outside the zone. It's a good take. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Reds go down quietly. Still no score. Back here at the ballpark, bottom four, down the third baseman, Josh Young. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. 
But why the kick the pitch? And there's the strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count. Then you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. Now the 0-1. A laser to left base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. These guys today are so great handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Looks like we've got a substitution at first. On to pinch run, Ezekiel Duran. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. And that one wrapped foul. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. A one down. Ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. That's ripped. And this one could be extra bases. Duran makes the turn at second. Around third. He will score. And it's 1 nothing. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Jonah Heim stepping in for the Rangers. Yeah, the pitch is in for a strike. 0-1. Runner leads away at second. That's in there. 0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed away. Ball. Next one misses, and it's one, one and two. two. Low leads off second with nobody out. Got it by him for the K. Now, when you follow up a triple-digit fastball with a nasty changeup, pretty much every time the hitter's going to be in trouble. And that was the plan. Get him to sit dead red on the fastball and then just make him look foolish with the off-speed stuff. And first offering is fouled off. And that one off the outside edge. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. The pitch. Ball. Two ball. Two strike. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Number 16. Travis Jankowski, the next to hit. Fly to right his first time. Oh, bottom of the order here, Boog. you got to go right after this guy. As they look to pick up an add-on run, and the number nine guy at the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Runner at second, two down. Strike two. Way high. The next no, pitch misses. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Not close with that one. 
And now three and two. Marcus Simeon waiting to hit for the Rangers. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Rangers get one on the RBI double. It's now 1-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Now into the game, Ezekiel Duran. He's the new third baseman. Now playing third baseman. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Noel V. Marte. 0 for 1 so far. The wind of the pitch. And a strike in there. That one out to right. Jankowski under it. What a way. Now it's the right fielder, Will Benson. He popped out his first time. And ball one to the right fielder. Next offering misses, ball two. That one missed. That almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Nick Senzel on deck for Cincinnati. Left hand batter waits. And that clips the inside corner. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Nick Senzel, the next to hit for the Reds. Ivaldi checks the runner. Benson back easily. And first offering is fouled off. Evolve checks the runner, and he's back in safely. And he'll one. And that one fouled off. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And that one almost got him. Kicks and deals. And now two and two. Kicks and fires. Stays alive. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. This one in the air center field. Tavares settles under it. Makes the catch. Two down. And now here is Stuart Fairchild. Glide out his first time. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? And the 1 0. -oh. Fly ball down the line. Jankowski under this one. 
And that'll do it. Ball game. The Rangers get a shutout on the mound. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. And a 1-0 final score here in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long 